Hi, I'm Keith McCullough. Welcome back. Today I wanted to give you an update on what really happened in global macro markets here in the first quarter. And again, from a global macro perspective, there's a lot going on from currencies to commodities to their read through on what actually happened in the US stock market in particular. But again, I'd like to start first with some very basic global macro themes that are not only counter to consensus relative to where everyone was at the beginning of the year, but what are really becoming amplified themes. So the first one in particular, obviously this is ours, so we're gonna push you on this, is inflation accelerating. Now you can see commodities, whether you look at the CRB index, which is of course 19 commodities, is up almost 9% for the year to date. But food, I mean this has probably been the best global macro position you could have had on the long side. Food up 19.3% for the CRB foodstuffs index for the quarter and year to date. Just fantastic performance relative to anything else. Now, the second thing that happens, of course, when you get inflation, and again, I say of course, because this is what happens in our model, or in reality, inflation accelerates and consumption and or real growth slows. So growth slowing, you can see that. What we'll show you here is the 10-year bond yield. So obviously the 10-year bond yield is down a full 30 basis points for the year to date. Consensus continues to say what happened actually last year, which was our call last year, rates rising. It's not rates rising, rates are falling. To be clear, when growth slows, the bond market sees that, and as the bond market sees that, interest rates go lower. Now the final point that I'd make, which is the least obvious, uh, the US stock market. You know, everyone's talking about how rosy this thing is, but at, from a year-to-date perspective, uh, the Dow's down, the S&P 500's up like a half a percent, the Russell 2000's down a full percent, and the NASDAQ's down too. So again, not a good year to be long the U.S. stock market relative to inflation accelerating. Now I'm just going to hit on a couple charts, three charts actually. Uh, coffee, you can see on the inflation accelerating side, you know, coffee prices are up 60% year to date. Now God forbid you actually drink the stuff, uh, but obviously that would affect your, your cost of living on that front. And then ne next, look at the corn price. Corn price is a pretty good uh, bogey for the food complex overall. Up another 3% last week to up 14.4% for the year to date. And then finally, soy, uh, which you can see up another 2% last week. And again, this is in the face of social media stocks collapsing. The NASDAQ was down 3% last week. Soy didn't care, soy was up another 2%. Inflation accelerates on that front to up 12.5% for the year to date. Now finally, we want to give you a read through on what this means for the stock market. So again, follow the bouncing ball. The dollar goes down, inflation accelerates, and consumption growth slows. So from a sector perspective, if we're just to take the S&P's components and look at it from a sector perspective, you can see huge sector variants are all of a sudden uh, developing here in the first quarter. Now what we're showing here now is the consumer, uh, XLY is the ETF for that, just a terrible week. So soy's up 2%, but consumer discretionary stocks are getting hammered. They were down another 2.1% last week to down 4% year to date, the worst performing subsector of the US stock market so far, and it should be. And then on the final uh, point that I'd like to make, so again, follow the bouncing ball, inflation accelerates, growth slows, People have to chase yield. So again, yield chasing, you can be long REITs, you can't eat a REIT, but you could also be long utilities, which we could show you here. Up last week, again, in a down US stock market, the utilities index up 1.2% to up 8% for the year to date. It acts just as growth slows does, which is explicit. So again, what's happening, what's really happening out there is pretty obvious to us. You just have to look underneath the hood. If you have any questions, I'm at Keith McCullough. That's my Twitter handle.